the sarcastic husband balls to the wall welcome back sarcastic husband show i'm the sarcastic husband i'm still playing vampire i don't know what i just did i need craft weapons and stuff okay Yeah, refill it all. Okay. Because it reminds me of the order so much sometimes. Use my teleportation vampire abilities. Must be following Twilight rules. Oh, this way. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Let's grab this hot lead rod. Well, you are a vampire, so... This creature is bedeviled. I can't feel it. I must put it down. William Bishop. Fuck parrying. I'll just cut the, cut the bitch up. Okay, maybe I'll need him to parry. I suck at life. The combat's really not that good, guys. It's not bad, but it's just not intuitive. I've been defeated. Now comes a two hour load time. Such a fast load time here. This is on uh, one terabyte Xbox, by the way, not slim.
Wait, why am I fighting these guys? Didn't I do this? How do I switch weapons? This doesn't make any sense. Oh. No, I want... Oh, okay. Got it. Screw you. Over there. Oh, God damn it. Where do you keep all coming from? Oh, time to eat some rats. Yeah, I don't know how to switch it. That's that's the issue here. I take a fence to that. Not vermin. There we go. Okay, got it. Figured it out. It only took me three days and a forever and a day. The North Dock, close to the South Dock. There's like a thousand dead bodies you couldn't like, you know. Seriously. Ugh, God. Put it 
down. This guy's like way more stronger, way stronger than I am. I need to look at the controls. Something I'm missing here. Got it. Much better. There we go. Starting to kind of understand the combat system now. Ah, you bastard! Get out of here. Winning! Use bludgeon attack. I don't Mr. think so. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They stray... Ah, uh, uh, you ain't gonna return in and... Oh. Remember, certain scowls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. No, I'm an oldborn, but I just got turned a few you weeks are the ago. Woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Oh, well. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, no. good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Uh, well, you're a vampire, so don't eat garlic. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire I must find a place to analyze the blood yeah you know, if you like this game as glitchy as it is it, it really is a good game it, um it really is I mean it's such a good but nothing it's it's not it's just an average game um, there there's issues with it but if you like this game I can recommend vampire the masquerades bloodlines and the original which is a legendary game <sighs> hmm both are locked, all right. Okay, we'll just go this way. Um, both are just great games, and, and I highly recommend you check them out if you can. Oh, hey. And away we go. In a little cr wooden criss craft. That's cool. Where 
we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. <laughs> you used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. <laughs> privacy. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Flu. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Oh, I kept thinking, why would Dr. anyone take Reed. blood service? Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. <laughs> well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a vampire. As a physician. Oh, wait, sorry. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. Mm. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. You have no idea what happened to me. I found a vampire and then I found a priest. And surprisingly, they were not doing any each other. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent. 
and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have. But what we don't we have. have. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. Now, does he have, have to talk in colloquialisms? Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Alright, guys, I'm going to take a break. If you guys like the game, um, it's Vampire. I'll play a little bit more of it, but, um, yeah. This is, uh, oh, it's healthy. Let's see what they go with this game. Take it easy, guys.